Hello again, guys. Welcome back to Urge. We are going to continue our 5th edition D&D subclass review series. And we continue into the final stage of the Player's Handbook Fighter with the Eldritch Knight. Got there. <laughs> the Eldritch Knight, essentially, before we get into the whole in-depth things, is essentially like a fighter multi-classing wizard without multi-classing wizard. Like dabbling in the wizard, little dabble. It's yeah, it's like dipping a couple of levels without having to sacrifice anything on the fighter side. And it's really, yeah. really kind of what it is. You, get, you do get some spell casting, and most important thing to remember, like why I said it's kind of like wizard, is that Eldritch Knights our spell casting is intelligence based. When you look at the Eldritch Knight, like I said, it's got very much a list of abilities that make it a little bit of wizard, a little bit of fighter without sacrificing anything. That's really what. I'm a I little bit fighter. I'm also a little bit wizard, too. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I have to deal with. Uh, you start off with just two cantrips, and you're never going to get more than three. Even at the highest level, you're never getting more than three. Uh, the highest spell slots you get is going to be a four. And even with, if you go 20 full levels of Eldritch Knight, you're only going to know 13 spells and only have 11 prepared. So, it's not a lot. But it still allows you to be a fighter with some ability to cast some spells. And this is how just being a you know, standard soldier, beaten stick, fat man to, to can do some extra stuff, give you some extra versatility and flexibility. Yeah, and one thing too that, just for perspective here, a level 20 Eldritch Knight has the same spell slots as a level 7 wizard. Factual statement. Just keep that in mind. Check us, if you dare. At third level we have Weapon Bond, but basically how it works is you can take time, I believe it's an hour, to bond with a weapon, you can have a, a, be bonded up to two weapons at a time, and basically you can summon the weapon to you. Yes. And it teleports instantly to you. So, say you get arrested or something, and someone takes away your weapons. Yeah. You're sitting in your cell. You could be like, "There's my sword back." So it would be better if it was like Thor. He has to like wait for the hammer to come yeah, to maybe him. You could. Maybe and you're talk. like. <sighs> No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it'd be much you better. Maybe, maybe work with your DM and be like, listen, I know it says instantly teleport. But for but fun's sake. Let's just say. Possibly. It's actually could be really bad. Especially yeah. if you're trying to be stealthy about it. It's just having that thing bouncing playing off the stone the walls in there. Yeah. That could, it'd be a great time. But it has to be on the same plane of existence as you. So yeah. if someone, like, confiscates your stuff and puts it into a bag of holding. I was going to say, yes, bag screwed. of holding don't you work. You are screwed. Different plane of existence. <laughs> Doesn't work. Nice try, though. Yours. At level 7, you get War Magic. Basically, uh, whenever you cast a cantrip yep. as an action, you can take a weapon attack as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Level 10, you get Eldritch Strike. Whenever mm -hmm. you hit an opponent or an enemy with your weapon attack, uh, it has disadvantage on saving throws from your spells until the end of your next turn. Yes. So you can hit someone with your sword this turn, next turn cast a spell, they have disadvantage on their save, and then it restarts. Yes. So, at the end of your turn. You can alternate. You can attack somebody four times on one turn if you want to. Cast a spell on the next turn and start the cycle all over again. Yeah. Level 15, you get an ability called Arcane Charge, which really is probably the most class synergistic ability you get here, which is a like, thinking about the things featured in the video, kind of stacking up things how we go here a little bit. Um, what it allows you to do is, after you take an action, you, you can if you hit something, you can attack something. When you use your action surge to do another action, you can teleport up to 30 feet away for you know away from toward and you can either choose to use that teleport before or after the action so of course the first thing we think of is anything spell is using fireball so so <laughs> you know, you're surrounded by a bunch of small creatures you can just attack one and then you're like you can actually go you know with all your extra attacks depending on how far down the thing you are you're like attack 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 then you're like okay I'm going to use my action surge. Before I use that bonus, you know, that second action, I'm going to teleport 30 feet this way and then cast Fireball at the group I just left in the dust. That way you're out of range of the spell. At level 18, your capstone ability of sorts would be improved War Magic. Any spell you cast, you can then attack as a bonus action. So you can smack, throw, throw Fireball away, far over there, and then hit somebody that's in your face. Wanted to make sure we clarify this with Eldritch tonight. I think it's something that's important to do. Casting and attacking are different actions. Yeah, they're different actions. When you take the attack action, then you can use all of your extra attacks under that same attack action. Mm -hmm. Cast a spell, cast a spell. Yeah. There's no casting of spells. 
unless you, you know, unless you choose to use your action surge, then you can cast multiple spells in the same turn. All right, so now we're gonna get to the rating portion of the video where yes. we talk about the RP value, the combat value, and the overall class synergy. Yes. Uh, first up, we have the RP value. We kind of went back and forth with this a little bit. Uh, we decided to go with three and a half because mm -hmm. we're like, I think it's a three. It doesn't really add much. And we're like, oh, it could be a four, but it's like. It's really dependent on what spells you yeah. actually pick Period. as this. It's almost entirely based on what it's, spells you choose. It's very flexible based on the spells. Could be a lot lower than that. Could be a lot higher. If you go super, super, you know, RP spells. Yeah, you could take every single spell slot be something RP. No, yeah, he's not, not offensive. You really don't want to. But you can. We go to part number two, of course, is the combat rating. We gave this one a four out of the five possible flumps. Little cute little suckers. Um, not so much, but a lot. Um, what the challenge is with this, and it was probably the hardest thing for us to rate, I think, was what we did yeah. with combat on this, because being able to be a martial class that can do all the all of the attacks and all the action surges mm -hmm. is awesome. All of the health, all the weapon armor efficiencies is cool by itself. But then all of a sudden it's like, you mean I could take battle axe, clay something in half, and then cast a fireball? Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, but because of that, it also limits what you normally would do yeah. as a fighter. So this is a, we ended up with sitting at four. This is probably, I think, at least for me, one of the hardest numbers to really be confident yeah, in a final rating. Yeah, I think this is one of the hardest ones we've had so far to try to rate because it's just so strange. We kind of had with the College of Valor Bard where it's yeah, like the so class is doing all of these things and then you have College of Valor's like, Let's do this stuff over here. That has yeah. nothing to do with the class. It's kind of like what this one is. Oh. But the thing is, um, with fighters, you're mostly going to be single target. You can attack lots of times and kill yeah. little things. But you're mostly hitting one thing. But when you have access to spells, you can start doing multiple AOE yeah. type attacks, which it increases your combat usefulness. I'd say yeah. to have the ability to not just hit, you know, a bunch of little. I mean, you can hit multiple big things. Multiple, but like once each, but why would you do that? You'd hit big things a lot of times, or you hit little yeah. things and kill all of them. Multiple, yeah. You know, so it just adds a little bit more utility to that. So it's kind of a hard one to do. It was. Um, on that same notion, we go to the final thing of class synergy. We gave it a two. Don't like doing it, but it's kind of what it is. It's for the very things James had said. Is it's a lot like <laughs> the College of the Valor Bard. Is that it takes everything the fighter is good at and goes, oh, what's that, squirrel? And just <laughs> pretty much, and just and, and just it runs away from it. I'm sorry to all of the Eldritch Knight fans out there, yeah. but it's just the class is doing it, all the things about the class. Like even you know you have your your fighting styles. There's not a spell casting fighting style. No, like, there's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you don't get to use archery as like a spell the, cast. It's like <sighs> all of the stuff of the class is going down this route, and you just take a veer off over here. Yes, you get to keep all of your extra attacks. That's probably yes. the best thing that you'd keep. But it's like, why not? Like I said, level 7 wizard has the same spell slots as a level 20 Eldritch Knight. Yeah. Maybe it's better just multi-class. Uh, not, be. not even necessarily wizard, because maybe you don't want to put intellect into a wizard. That's so that's the thing I really think about with this class is so, that besides... Because you're hurting. You have to dump some weird stats. Yeah, besides wizard, there's no, strength, there's no other... Strength for attacks, con for health, Yeah. dex for initiative... Intelligence for spellcasting? <laughs> yeah. Like, where are you putting it? It makes you spread a lot out unnecessarily. Play what you want to play. That's the ultimate thing we want to make sure anybody understands when we see these videos. Yeah. We're not telling you what you should or should not play. It's our thoughts, our feelings on how we, we view the class. If you're thinking about the Eldritch Knight, look at the abilities, compare what everything is, and then think about considering doing a one of the other two fighters, you know, martial archetypes, subclasses, whatever you want to call them. And then doing one of the wizard ones and seeing if there's a better break for what you want to do in a character, both yeah. from the combat side and how your character would play. And that's, you know, don't just think, oh, this would be more efficient in combat. Think what sounds more fun to play. This is more like, we're just looking at this purely from, like, these abilities and stuff like that. The RP is the flex one. It's flex it depends one. on the person. You could have a really poor RPable subclass, but if you got a daggum pro of somebody who's just really good at that kind of thing, exactly. they can make anything a five. They could make a... The most bland fighter, the most RP tastic thing in the history like, of the world. Some people might look through our ratings and say that class is really bad. I want to play it because it's bad. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm going to be that guy. Exactly. That's fine. Those are our main thoughts on the Eldritch, Eldritch Knight, Knight <laughs> martial <laughs> archetype yes. fighter subclass. Holy crap! So many words in all, that one. All of the words. 
Uh, we are professionals of the English language. That just no. happened. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the yes. bell notification for all of our new videos that come out. Um, if you guys have anything you want to say about this video, about the fighter subclass, yeah. about anything D&D related at all, or anything at all, whatever, let us know in the comments ah. down below. Uh, and, as well, and as always, guys, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing.